So for today's um, demonstration, I'm using Artistic Wire brand Craft Wire 26 gauge in gold. You can find this on Beatalon.com. And I absolutely love this wire. I live, breathe, and die by this stuff. I love it. It's the best wire ever. Okay, so here again is the example of what we'll be making. And I'm going to grab my stone and I'm going to, oh, I have like six inches of wire. I'm going to go through the top of my bead here with a couple inches on one side and I'm going to crisscross them over the top of the bead like so. You want your crisscross to be directly over the top of the stone. This will keep making sure that the wire is straight above the stone and your stone isn't going to like hang off diagonally or anything and it looks better. So um, you want to crisscross directly over the top of the stone and then we're going to take our chain nose pliers and we're going to bend the longer wire or stem up. And when you do the bend, again, you want to make sure it's directly over the top of the point of your stone. And next, I'm going to flip it around here a little bit and gently hold everything into place with my chain nose pliers. And I'm going to take the shorter stem and I'm going to wire wrap it over the top of the stone a few coils like so. That will hold that into place and then cut off excess wire and pinch this closed. And then I'm going to grab my round nose pliers again. You can see how we've got this started and go right over the top of the coil. And you don't want to have a lot of space unless you want to have a really long coiled stem above your stone. Usually you just wanna go right smack over the top. So we're gonna put the round nose pliers right over the top of the coil and form a loop with the round nose pliers and go over the top like so, where you have just a little bit, a little bit, I can't talk today, a little bit of space at the base of your loop here, right over the top of the previous coils and coil around so they meet in the middle. So this would be considered great. Now here you could cut your wire and pinch it closed and you're done with one nice long uh, row of coiled wire. I don't know why I can't talk today. And your loop at the top and your stone here at the bottom. Because I like to make everything different, um, I like to continue wire wrapping back down a little bit more and then back up. I just like it sometimes when the wire looks a little bit thicker, that's just me. I'm gonna go back up around a little bit and then kinda put everything into place, cut off my excess wire here and pinch it closed. It's just my unique way of doing it. Oop. And there you go, you've wire wrapped a relay. So I kind of like how it looks a little thicker at the coil. Um, if you want it thinner, just do it where the meat's in the middle and you stop. That's cool too. All right, so we're gonna do one more wrap. Gonna grab this bad boy, go back through the top again, crisscross over the top of the stone like so. Look at how awesome that looks. And we're going to take the chain nose pliers and bend our stem up nice and straight. And then rotate this around a little bit. Grab the top with just the tip of your chain nose pliers. And big fat hands keep getting in the way. Wire wrap this a few times, just probably two or three times. If the more you do, the taller your stem's going to be. So maybe even just two times, like whatever you feel comfortable with and then cut off your excess wire and pinch this and down. That way it's not cutting on anything and it's nice and smooth. And grab our round nose pliers. Oh, and I'm using beetle on tools if anybody wants to look. These cutters are amazing. They're literally made in Italy. They cut, they're, they're freaking awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and use the round nose pliers and form a loop again. Yay! And then we're just going to wire up down to the center. Now see, if I wanted to be done, like I said, with just the one strand, you could end here, cut your wire and be done. But I'm going to go a little bit more. I just like to make things extra difficult or unique. <laughs> and there we go. And cut this off. Toss that wire to the side and pinch closed. And we're done. Now you can turn these into 
drops for a necklace or you can turn them into earrings, but it's just a nice way to accentuate beautiful stones and to make them into whatever jewelry you want to create. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok or www.andrewbeberdesigns.com. Feel free to send me a message if you have any questions and have a great day. Thank you so much.